shares of Micron moving higher after disappointing numbers and cutting forecasts. What is that all about? Uh, I've got to tell you, this is one of those things that you may not be able to figure out unless we drill down here because the company says it expects a recovery in memory chips. I want to know more about this. So joining us now exclusively is Micron CEO Sanjay Barotra. Sanjay, great to see you, sir. Great to be on the show, Jim. How are you? Um, good, sir. Okay, so data center week, auto not so good, macro week, uh, PC week. Why should we think that there could be anything uh, pot of gold at the end of this rainbow, given all those weaknesses you're in markets? Well, the underlying demand trends in data center, for example, that you mentioned, you know, continue to be solid, as you can see from the results of the cloud service providers. And the trend for more data, more AI, more machine learning in data centers and cloud services absolutely continues to increase. And that needs more memory, more storage in the long run. In the first half of this year, you know, certainly the demand from cloud service providers and data center has been impacted because during the course of last year, inventories were built up by those customers given the increasing prices of DRAM. However, those inventories are being worked through the system during the first half of the year, and we expect that during the second half of the calendar year, inventory, by its second half of the calendar year, inventory position will be starting to largely normalize and then leading to demand growth in the second half of the year. And similarly, I, I, on the smartphone I, side, some weakness on the high-end smartphone, but the average content of memory and storage in the phones continues to increase. And second half tends to okay. be seasonally stronger from a demand right. point of view as well. Okay, if that's the case, then why are you cutting, why are you idling production for DRAM? I mean, you are well below, in terms of pricing, your cost of production is still rather dramatically below where uh, you, can, you can buy DRAMs, so why cut back? Uh, it sounds like a well, situation where we, we, we want you to go full throttle. Well, it's very important for us to manage our business prudently and make sure that our supply growth during the course of the entire calendar year is aligned with our expected demand from the industry. So when we cut back our production, as we announced in our earnings call on the DRAM side by 5% of our wafer starts, we cut back. That is intended keeping in mind the demand growth that we expect in the second half of the year, it will help bring our inventories in, in better alignment, as well as, of course, provides the benefit of cash flow. And it's just a healthy way to manage the business. It has several benefits in terms of really having your demand and supply well aligned. So it's important for us okay. to take this action. And of course, we took action on the NAND side as well in terms of reducing our output you know, focusing on bringing right. our overall supply in better alignment with demand okay. over the course of I'm, next couple I'm of totally years. I'm totally in agreement, Sanjay. This is how we get a bottom, and I loved your comment on the call. Decisive action to reduce our supply growth need to be done right now. How about the Koreans, though? How about they listen to you, and instead of taking a signal, they say, you know what, we're going to take Sanjay's market share because, you know, we don't care. We'll sell a blow cost of production. We don't have to worry. Well, how do you keep the Koreans from taking the share that you're willing, obviously, to walk away from in order to be able to make it so that you have a constructive cash flow and balance sheet? As long as we focus on our supply growth to be in line with demand, we believe with the portfolio of products, with the technology advancements that we are making, the product portfolio that we keep expanding, we will definitely do well in terms of meeting the requirements of our customers and absolutely maintaining our share in the market as well. And our focus is on growing the profitability of the business. You can see that in fiscal Q2 that we reported, even with steep price declines in the industry and significant decline in sequential revenue, we actually reported healthy profitability and cash flows. And that's our focus in terms of really driving the business, uh, controlling you know, the parameters on our side on the business, in terms of really keeping demand and supply aligned, as well as absolutely continuing to drive cost reductions and bring innovative products to our customers and bring value to our customers with all the end markets driven by AI, ML, and 5G from smartphone to autos uh, to data centers. We are really extremely well engaged in terms of continuing to maintain and strengthen our business okay. fundamentals. 
Right, Sanjay, you and I are old hands, and you remember the 80s when it used to be that you would lose money in a downturn. Even the 90s, if you remember that first that first downturn in the uh, beginning of the 90s where you just guys got clobbered. This is a new micron. Let's change the narrative for a second. Will you please tell people at the trough, which I think we are at, how much money you're making? Uh, Jim, you're absolutely right that this is a new micron. I have been in this industry for 40 years, and I have uh, never seen a company like Micron better prepared to weather a downturn. You know, we are extremely focused on execution and executing well to our strategy of driving cost competitiveness and high value solutions to address our end market opportunities. And as I mentioned, that results that we just produced in fiscal second quarter showed healthy profitability and cash flow and intense focus at the company in terms of managing our capex as well as our opex for return on investments as well as generation of cash flow capability. And of course, if we put that to word, uh, healthy share buyback as well, uh, continuing to be committed to at least 50% of our annual free cash flow going towards share buyback. And the guidance we provided for our fiscal third quarter also actually points to operating margins in 20s, and that's very healthy for any business. Uh, even we are able to provide that guidance in an extremely challenging environment, adverse environment in terms of pricing in the industry. Hey Sanjay, it's Carl. Really quick, just on inventory day supply, uh, where is the sweet spot in terms of number of days and does 5% trim really get you there? Uh, we do believe that you know 5% cut that we have made will help us bring continue to improve our inventory position throughout the course of the year. And uh, of course, it provides, aside from the benefits of inventory reduction, provides the benefits of uh, cash flow as well as enables us to manage our business overall in a healthy fashion. So our inventories at this point, as we reported yesterday, uh, somewhat inflated. Uh, however, you know, we are taking decisive actions, and this is the new Micron, taking these decisive actions in terms of cutting production when actually the gross margins are healthy and our profitability is at very healthy level. And this is different about the new Micron as well as this is different about the industry in terms of the discipline on focus on profitability. All right, but Sanjay and I are old enough to remember the old Micron, which is definitely not Sanjay Marotra. Great to see you, sir, CEO at Micron.